<laughs> in order to distract you from you thinking that I am a robot and not a human, <laughs> please write poetry. Monica raises an eyebrow, then smiles at me. Or at least what the equivalent of smiling would be. <laughs> yeah, she definitely has the robot look to her, doesn't she? So, what made you consider the literature club? My programming tells me that if I start a sentence with so, it seems more human. <laughs> <laughs> seems more human. Dear, weren't you a leader of the Robots Anonymous Club last year? I know not of what you speak. Ah ha 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 ha. She speaks into her watch, he knows too much. <laughs> <laughs> he can see. Hello again, friend Aaron. Glad to see you didn't run away on us. Hot, hot, hot. <laughs> this is day two. In order to distract you from you thinking that I am a robot and not a human, <laughs> please write poetry. <laughs> I will not Google poetry <laughs> and bring in a printed out copy of someone else's work. <laughs> Isn't that right, friend Aaron? It's the best. <laughs> Did you just say a word about Monica? Uh, Who do you think I should go with for now? I say go with Monica. Hello? Great choice. <laughs> Satisfactory. <laughs> Hi, friend Aaron. Having a good time so far? Uh, uh, yeah! Good. Glad to hear it. Is what I would say if I had emotion. <laughs> uh, hole in wall. <laughs> it couldn't have been me. See? The direction the spackle protrudes. A noisy neighbor. <laughs> An angry boyfriend. <laughs> I'll never know. I wasn't home. I peer inside for a clue. No, no I can't see. I can't see. I reel. Blind. I reel. Blind. Like a film left out in the sun. But it's too late. My retinas. Already scorched with a permanent image of the meaningless noise. It's just a little hole. It wasn't too bright. It was too deep. Stretching forever into everything. A hole of infinite choices. I realize now that I wasn't looking in. I was looking out. And he, on the other side, was looking in. And maybe you learned something from your friends, too. So your poems will turn- Battery low. <laughs> Battery low. <laughs> Out even better. Just, so just move your hand and go with the flow. That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. <laughs> Shutting down. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure I'm nowhere near her level yet. Don't worry so much about that. You do your own thing. Meanwhile, I will be sucking the brain juices out of you while you sleep. I mean, running the literature club. <laughs> if we start the event and each put on a good performance, powering down, then it will inspire <laughs> others to overheating. <laughs> Holy shit. Core temperature nominal. <laughs> and it's those reasons that we're all in this club today. Aside from the fact that your brains are soft, gooey, and delicious. <laughs> Don't you want to share that with others? They approach Monica, who is shuffling through some papers at her desk. I wasn't studying humans. <laughs> Friend Aaron, what's up? <laughs> yeah, that I'm trying to impress Natsuki. Hmm? Monica sees the poem lying on the floor and swiftly picks it up. She reads through it, her smile not fading from her face. I see. I hear. I taste. <laughs> I am human. After all. You should take a little responsibility for her friend, Aaron. I mean, especially after your exchange with her yesterday. You kind of left her hanging this morning, you know. Exchange? Monica, you know about that? Of course I do. I'm the club president, after all. But, I stammer, embarrassed. Did Sayori really tell her about it that quickly? That we're a couple now? I didn't really plan on bringing it up with anyone yet. <laughs> Jeez. You don't know the full story at all, so don't worry. I can read minds. <laughs> I probably know a lot more than you think. Eh? In fact, I know everything you think. Monica is being as friendly as Monica is <laughs> being as friendly as usual, but for some reason, I felt a chill down my spine after hearing that. Hey, do you want to check out the pamphlets? They came out really nice. Yeah, sure. I grab one of I grab one of the pamphlets laid off in desks. Oh yeah, they really did, huh? Something like this will definitely help people take the club more seriously. Yeah, I thought so too. Boy, I didn't think I'd miss the fucking reggae loop, but yeah. it's quiet. Yeah, it's a little quiet. I flip through the pages. Each member's poem is neatly printed on its own page, giving it an almost professional feel. I recognize Natsuki's and Yuri's poems from the ones they performed during our practice. What's this? I flip to Sayori's poem. 
It's different from the one she practiced. It's one that I haven't read before. Oh. Whoa. Well, there you go. You wanna read that? Um... <laughs> get out of my head! Times 50. Get out of my head before I do, I know what is best for you. I listen to everything she said to me. Show you how much I love you. I finished writing this poem. But a poem is never actually finished. It just stops moving. Um... Uh... Are we in Silent Hill all of a sudden? What is this? Reading the poem, I got a pit in my stomach. Friend Aaron. What's wrong? Uh, nothing. This poem feels completely different from everything else Sayori's written. Yeah, it's the fucking all work and no play makes Jack a dull boy from The Shining. But more than that, uh, I, I changed my mind. I'm gonna go get Sayori, so... Ah, uh, well, alright. Try not to take too long, okay? I quickly leave the classroom. Don't strain yourself. My anime club. Is this a ghoul grumps? Friend Aaron. Oh, my fucking god. Monica? Oh my goodness, I totally didn't expect to see you here. It's been a while, right? Oh, jeez. <laughs> nope. Nope. <laughs> it kind of makes me think of something Natsuki would write. And she's a good writer, too. People can talk. <laughs> so take that as a compliment. <laughs> ha ha ha. If you say so. <laughs> yep. If you're interested in Natsuki, then always keep a snack on you. She'll cling to you like a puppy. <laughs> Da 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 da. <laughs> Natsuki's dad doesn't give her lunch money or leave her any food in the house, so she's in a fussy mood pretty often. But sometimes she just loses all of her strength and shuts down. <laughs> <laughs> like earlier. This is just a guess, but I think she's so small because her malnutrition is interfering with her adolescent growth. What the fuck? I don't I don't know that she said that last time. Yeah, I, that, I do not recall that. I think there's more truth to the fact that we gave her a robot voice than... Yeah, I'm get- uh, like, <laughs> I'm starting to get the sense that like... She's like controlling everything? She, or or th something's not right with her. Cause I- I, I think she's like every time the game like fucks up, she like just kind of butts in. Yeah, and she's like, oh look over here. Yeah, there's no big deal. Yeah. <sighs> okay. Oh boy, oh boy. You understand, right? Anyway. If this makes you want to spend less time with the others, then that's fine. I'd be happy to spend time with you instead. Oh, good. Classroom. You... Things have been <laughs> a little hectic lately, haven't they? Friend Aaron, I just wanted to make sure you're enjoying your time at this Yeah, club. why wouldn't I? It's been fucking great. <laughs> I would really hate to see you unhappy. Oh, boy. I feel, kind uh -oh. of feel like I'm responsible for that I as president. I don't like it when the background goes to snow. And I really do care about you, you know. Cool. I don't like seeing the other girls give you a hard time. Okay. With how mean Natsuki is and everything, and Yuri being a little bit, you know. God, 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 God. <laughs> Sometimes it feels like you and I are the only real people here. Oh boy. You know what I mean. Not really. But it's weird because in all the time you've been here, we've hardly gotten to spend any time together. Uh, I mean, I guess it's technically only been a couple days. Cycles. Sorry, <laughs> I didn't mean to say something weird. There are just some things I've been hoping to talk about with you. Things I know only you could understand. So that's why. Oh boy. Wait, not yet. No. Stop it. Oh boy. Oh boy. That Friend Aaron, you completely, truly <laughs> make me sick. <laughs> Goodbye. Well, that was a fun little romp. Is that it? I, I you know. Well, oh. Well, Fred. I still love you. <laughs> Son of a bitch. I, this, this is my fun. Oh, this, this is, is my final goodbye to the literature club. I finally understand. The literature club is truly a place where no happiness can be found. To the very end, it continued to expose innocent minds to a horrific reality, a reality that our world is not designed to comprehend. I can't let any of my friends undergo that same hellish epiphany. <laughs> for the time it lasted, I want to thank you for making all of my dreams come true, for being a friend to all the club members, and most of all, thank you for being part of my literature club. With everlasting love, Monica. Um, hi, viewer. Uh, so thank you for watching my video. I mean, you do know that I know it's a video, right? I made it kind of obvious. Um, so thank you for watching. Uh, there's a like button that you can press to let you know that you liked getting to spend time with me. And if you want to make sure you get to spend more time with me, then subscribe to the channel. And then we can see each other all the time. Um, so yeah, I guess that's goodbye for now.
Oh, you're, you're still here? Oh, that makes me really, really happy. You know, it's really good when we just get to spend time with it. It's just you and me and no one else around and 